Threats to Bitcoin are what keep many people on the sideline. And of course, they just want some assurance for their savings. But just who or what is that greatest threat? Bitcoin author and expert Jimmy Song has some insights. And the answer may surprise you, but it likely won't be a pleasant one. Stick around. Break through the noise, the fun all around. Stay real with the signal, got 10 toes down. Bitcoin beats, the revolution sound. We dive in the depths where the real is found. The signal stays strong, no lies in sight. We stand tall, we ready for the fight. Echoes in the dark, we see the clutch unite. Show that knowledge and we bring the light. One every week, dope rhymes you spit. Feel grind every day with the daily bit. Pirate features of the week. It's Sir Ulrich. Are you down with the underground? You know, it makes me laugh when I see these posts, videos, articles, and influencers discussing threats to Bitcoin. Like, oh no, China gonna ban it. Norway doesn't care if it's stranded energy fizzles away. The evil exchange con base and Brian Armstrong, they're so immoral. Look at all the crypto grifts and 10X levered futures trading. Please government put them in jail. Mt. Gox coins are dumping on the market. Mala so dumb, Trump shills MAGA Ethereum. OMG, ETF, Bitcoin is captured. And don't get me started on the Bitcoin conference that takes crypto project money. Did I get them all? Bitcoin has been floating between 55 and 65K for what seems like forever. And let's not get into that black hole anomaly we know as 58K. But if there's a problem at all, just who is to blame? All those groups I mentioned before, or you? How many of you are trading rather than hodling? How many of you are self-custodied versus using unnecessary custodians? How many of you actually run a full node so you can don't trust verify your own transaction? Is Bitcoin even a revolution? If so, then why do the voices with the most reach seem to sound so much like what's on three-letter government-sponsored media corporations? Who's giving these voices range? Y'all and kids, you know a wolf when you see one. But maybe, just maybe, you actually prefer the wolves. Jimmy Song said this in a tweet 14 months ago. A Bitcoiner should be able to create a seed phrase, run a node, open a channel, zap a stranger, understand the white paper, explain what decentralization is, set up a hardware wallet, estimate fees, spot a scammer, explain the importance of scarcity, and have an inheritance plan. BTC Sessions trains you on Bitcoin tools. Matt Hill literally pleads for you to make a personal server. In the Pleb Underground, we platform technical Bitcoin experts and freedom advocates on a weekly basis. There are many more out there with the same message besides the people I mentioned. So what are the accounts that are advising you all the high time preference stuff? What in your algorithm is telling you this? Are you really taking the road less traveled? Are you refining your convictions against a fiat world that tell you you're crazy? Can you stand there on an island yourself and declare back to the mob? Yep, you're all wrong. How can you tell them that when you're doing the same thing they are, but just in a different color? So I ask again, brother, are you trading? Every Satoshi you put up for sale is more monetary energy keeping bearish traders alive. Every speculative sale of Bitcoin for what people call a lesser form of money, it's pushing back the day world leaders reluctantly bend the knee to something they can't control as the unit of account for the world. Are you addicted to hopium? No? You sure? My algorithm is telling me that people that are like me, like hopium. And in 2024, I sure saw a lot of Bitcoin to 1 million by the end of the year posts. Follow me for more midwit, lowbrow engagement. But then the after effects. Bloated projections get wrecked and newbies dipping their toe in with lettuce hands, panic sell. 
then experience opportunity costs and likely miss out on real adoption for years. But I'm sure you've heard it said, it's not about timing the market, it's about time in market. I see the philosophical one-liner engagement from podfluencers. That empty theorycraft content cultivates an audience of lesser philosophers that give the concept of inaction a new meaning. You know, the Jordan Petersons, the Andrew Tates, the Eric Weinsteins and their disciples. Now, if there's something about the words coming out of their mouth that gives you subjective value in life, by all means, continue on. Just know that them mentioning the word Bitcoin is not going to pump your bags. And if they never showed up to a Bitcoin conference, Bitcoin would still be up and to the right. So keep that in context for the next time a celebrity advocate pops up. And then I see the attractive cheerleaders that seem to increase in sightings during the bull market. Unsurprisingly, all surface, no substance. By this, look at me eliciting actions for the wrong reasons, which means weak convictions, which create bad times. Bad times create strong convictions. Strong convictions create good times. Good times create weak convictions. What is it going to take to spend a bit more time in the strong convictions section? This is the Bitcoin revolution. None of this moves the needle, the needle for the individual or the network. Every time you like, retweet, or even scroll past content like this, you're validating. And if you are not a dark tetrad and actually have a little empathy, this dynamic enables those anti-revolution actors to reach more newcomers who will be encouraged to make economically unwise decisions. It's 2024, the institutions are here as anticipated and they're watching with their fiat bags. And they're looking for alpha comparing the stability of the network with the volatility of the price. They're gonna to continue to test the market to see if the asset holders of the most optimal form of money ever discovered are skittish, easily manipulated, and shaken off their stack. They're gonna look at the infrastructure. How many nodes out there running Bitcoin Core? What's the hash rate and can it be captured? Are the people the most important component of any system operating with rational conviction? Or are they moved by the whims of a few influencers with buzzwords? Is this network made up of the right people? Only you can answer that, Anon. Not only are institutions on deck, but regular people as well who have been on the sidelines. With each passing year, they're becoming more desperate in a dying fiat system. They're looking for hope and direction, for a place to hang their time-earned savings. Can they tell the difference between you and a gold insect? You and a meat head? You and the lost soul who thinks that paper cash is our God-given right? I encourage you. Do your homework, get your tools, know your tools, propagate your knowledge, have a contingency plan for your stack with your loved ones. Be refined and responsible leaders of this economic revolution. Remember, we're still early. By the time the LinkedIn crowd realizes Bitcoin is real and most importantly, fiat is a shill, they're gonna need you. I am Sir Ulrich like my father before me and we gonna make it. Well, most of us. Are you